Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to King's Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing a couple of canes from a company called Custom Cane Self-Defense. The owner of that, Daniel Zydoz, and Daniel, I hope I'm saying that name correctly, sir, was gracious enough to send me down two of his custom canes for me to kick the tires on, work with, and then showcase. And the first cane I'm going to show you is called Simply Twisted. This is the Simply Twisted self-defense cane. Now this cane right here, obviously simply twisted for its unique twisting that runs through most of this cane. Now, he did this one for me in, in Emerald Green. We had a good long conversation and uh, uh, green's one of my favorite colors and he was able to do these canes in several different colors and he did this one for me in like an Emerald Green. Now this is custom made for my height this cane is very fast yet strong and durable now some of the features of this cane and i'll start on the top area on the crook area he um this one here is a bird's beak but he does a couple different um custom style uh hooks and crooks that you can look at some are like birds some have fangs so you're going to get a good variety that you can pick from on this one here i have the bird's beak and i have the red eyes and on this hook right here, he went a little sharp for me on the beak itself, which allows for not only just a good yanking around the neck to pull somebody down, but with that, I can obviously pull into them, causing injury into the muscle areas, or grab that neck, causing injuries and pulling somebody down, and still allows me to grab and manipulate the arm areas, the leg areas, as well as being strong, good, and for power hitting. Now, this cane on the upper portion of the shaft has an octagonal area that you could grab and he has the grips going all the way around. So from here, it's very easy for me to chamber down, find my grips, come up and swing. And then about seven or eight inches down from here, I have that nice unique twist going all the way through this cane completely to the bottom tip area. Now, the features with this twist it allows me to do several things. Number one, when somebody's swinging at me, it's going to allow me, no matter how I'm blocking, they're going to get a, they're going to bite into that twist, and that raised area is going to hurt. Number two, whenever I'm swinging, as I'm swinging, no matter where I hit, it allows me to bite into them with that twist. And also, no matter where I grab, I've got a good section to grab and my fingers simply go right in there and they lock in. So now I have a good solid hold. Another thing that I can do with this, and I was working with this earlier, is when I can come up when I'm, I grab somebody and I'm going into their face, being that that has that twist, I can not only rake it around, but I can crank it and allow that to kind of rip into the flesh a little bit, kind of cause some injuries, raking it across. So it's going to be able to do that throughout the whole shaft of this cane. So it allows for a nice twist and a nice long, no matter how I hit, like I said, you're going to find them or they're going to find it. And this cane, again, like I said, very strong, very quick, very beautiful. So he does a very nice work. He makes them all custom. And I'm going to have his website, his email in linked into this video. But here, custom make them for whatever you want, whatever your needs are. So this one here, solid, very solid. Now, I'm gonna show you the secondary cane that he sent me. And this one is a training cane. Now this one here, I'm gonna read a little bit of information because I'm still fairly new to his company. This one here is called the Training Cane Plus. This is one of their standard dojo canes. Now, this one here is, is also finished in a nice natural uh, bees oil. Now this one here is octagonal as well. And on the top crook area, he runs a soft bird's beak or a bird's head, I should say. And what that means basically is it's nice and it's round, but not sharp, but it's big enough to go around your necks for training. If something starts to happen, you can easily unhook your partner. And being that it's not sharp, you can practice hooking and grabbing, but without that pain of digging into them, with as you would with um, this kind of a beak. So you're gonna be safe when you're working with them. 
you're not you can pull them obviously it's not going to feel good if it catches that muscle area but you're not digging into their flesh and you're not really hurting them if they decide not to come with you do you get those students that want to be hardcore and don't want then you just move them they're going to follow you but a great for training and definitely perfect for striking a bag and working your techniques now moving down you've got your grips standard grips on the top and lower portion of your shaft so you got two standard grips here as you come up you automatically have a good grips for your your bayonet strike when you're here you simply chamber down pick up and you automatically went into your grips so the grips are located very very nice grips located on the top and lower portion of your cane one of the features he has that i found interesting on this is he has basically a serration here that you can use to rake with or hit with but being that it's a training cane he's got them you can see them you can feel them lightly but they're not going to cause injury he didn't make them like he would on his standard canes for the street where they're going to be raised up to cause injury or cutting into your flesh for your training purposes they keep it nice and leveled and low and it's not sharp so that allows you when you're working with a partner to hook onto that partner practice your raking across the back of the neck practice your raking across the face practice your raking across the arms and when you do that you don't feel that serration hurting you feel the bumps and when you turn it and you're not on there let's say you're training and you're not on there it's just smooth so you know you're not right so when you're training and you're doing that your partner's going to say no it's smooth you, you didn't get a good look a, a good hook to me or a good lock and when you do it just right they can feel the bumps and they can say yep you got a good lock and hold yet not be in pain so I thought that was a really good feature to have on a training cane. So now you have the reality where you can train raking and moving and know that you're touching them and you're in the right spots but not causing major injury to your training partner. So that's very handy to have. Now this cane also custom made for my height and all that so I can practice my maneuvers, my strikes, and my rakes. But it also is a good cane, still has a nice look and finish that you can carry on the streets with you as well. So you can use it in the streets or training in your school. So both these canes are a nice work of art. Um, Daniel, thank you very much for allowing me the chance to train with these, to have fun with these, and to showcase your beautiful work. Uh, again, I'm going to have custom uh, self-defense canes website and email in this channel, so, uh, this YouTube channel and Facebook channel, so you can see it and kind of check out all their other merchandise. So give them a look. Um, nice people, had a good conversation with them, and check out their stuff. Gary Hernandez, thank you very much, and I will see everybody real soon.